With over 1,500 different pickaxes in Fortnite, it can be really hard to find the best ones to use. So today, guys, I'm going to be showing you the 50 best Fortnite pickaxes. These are going to be some of the most trialed pickaxes and some of the best pickaxes that no one is using. So make sure you guys watch this entire video and let me know in the comments down below which one is your absolute favorite. If I mention a pickaxe you own as well, you have to go down and hit the like and the subscribe button. But we are starting off with the Spectral Axe. This might be one of the most underrated ones in the game. No one is actually really using this just yet because I feel like it is so underrated, but it has been in the game for a really long time. So I feel like if people were going to start meaning this or using it in the more competitive game modes, then they probably would have already been using it. What I really like about this is that it is quite detailed, but at the same time, quite simplistic. It's going to work in with all of your favorite skins as well. So if you are a tryhard player or just a more casual player, chances are you are still going to like the way this looks. It definitely isn't as simplistic as our next pickaxe though, and this is the Axe O. This actually came to the game earlier on in chapter five. It was the pickaxe design for the weekend skin, which is definitely one of the more interesting collabs Fortnite has done. And it was part of the first ever Fortnite festival pass that we had introduced to the game. I really like this pickaxe a lot. The skin was probably a little bit underwhelming. I don't think that many people ended up using it. It could have been a lot better, but still this is a really clean looking pickaxe and it is only going to get better in the future. We don't know if this is ever going to return to the store either, but I'm just a huge fan of this and if you guys do end up using some of the more detailed skins in the game or just skins with a bunch of different color styles then the axo is going to fit in with every single one of them we do also have a lot more collab pickaxes in fortnite that tend to be a lot more popular than the actual collab skins and the perfect example of that is yennefer's megascope this has been one of the best pickaxes we've seen i really like the way this pickaxe looks it is so detailed it is so well done yet it still has a simplistic color theme allowing you to use it with pretty much every single skin in your locker but it's really interesting because this also came to the game with Yennefer as a skin from the Witcher franchise, which I have never seen anyone using. Literally no one has ever really used this skin, but this pickaxe is definitely a lot more popular and one of the cleanest ones we actually have in Fortnite. There is another pickaxe that is pretty similar to this though, and that is the Giant Nutcracker. Now this is a little bit more interesting because it probably isn't known as a tryhard pickaxe in Fortnite, but I just feel like it is so worth including in this video because it is so unique and different to everything else we have ever seen before. I mean, I just love the way this looks so much. It is definitely a big meme pickaxe as well. I mean, I don't really see too many other pickaxes having that meme style in Fortnite, so it's really cool to see this being one of the more meme pickaxes that we actually have. I just think it is so well done. It does also have a little bit of that cell shading variant to it as well, so it is going to make you guys stand out a little bit more. It does also have a custom animation, which just makes it even better, and if you guys want to stand out from everyone else, then the giant nutcracker is going to be the way to do it. It doesn't necessarily look like a tryhard pickaxe though, but the Ebonheart battle axe definitely does. This reminds a lot of people of the Leviathan axe, which is obviously the most tryhard pickaxe we have pretty much ever seen in Fortnite. And since that is really only featured in the store once, if you did miss out on buying that, then the Ebonheart battle axe is a perfect replacement. I mean, it is just such a good pickaxe. It also came to the game with a Witcher collab, which I think is really cool. This is just a perfect example of some of those more collab pickaxes actually staying a lot more popular than the skins that come with it but i've been a big fan of this pretty much since it was introduced and still use it a bunch today you can use it with every single skin in your locker and if you guys do want to own the leviathan axe but maybe don't want to deal with the custom animations or the one-handed style that that pickaxe actually has then the ebon heart battle axe is going to be an even better replacement that takes us forward though, guys through our next pickaxe and we have the dark place lamp this is one of the more underrated pickaxes in this video as well. I mean, so many pros and streamers have been using this, but it never really got the popularity that it deserved. I feel like Clicks was one of the biggest pros that actually used this when it first got introduced to the game, but now he has pretty much stopped using it, so we just don't see that many people using it anymore. I love the way this looks, though. It is one of the smallest pickaxes in the game, but it is still so detailed, which just makes this even better. I mean, I've always been a big fan of the more simplistic looking pickaxes, but also there are detailed ones that we have to include and talk about and the Dark Place Lamp is definitely one of them. As I mentioned earlier, it is just one of the smallest pickaxes that we have in the game. Hardly anyone wants to use a big, big pickaxe, and I feel like this takes it the other way by being one of the smallest ones we have ever seen. One that is sort of a medium-sized pickaxe, I guess, though, would have to be the Stitched Slicer. This is really good, and it is also one of those pickaxes that, unfortunately, will probably never return to the game. This is part of a Fortnite crew bundle that came to the game with the Sticks skin. This is a more underrated Fortnite crew 
skin that we have seen in the past, but it is definitely one of my favorites, so it makes sense that this pickaxe is one of my favorites as well. I just like the color theme to it. I think it is really simplistic, yet detailed, and he's going to work it with a bunch of different skins. But again, not that many people ended up buying the Fortnite crew bundles, so we just haven't seen the popularity for this pickaxe that it deserves. I guess you could also put War Woman's Mace into the same category. This is very similar to the Dark Place Lamp in terms of styles. It is one of the smallest pickaxes in the game, but still very, very detailed. But this is a little bit more unique and different because it was actually added to the game with the Invincible collab, so therefore it is a cell shaded pickaxe. A lot of the cell shaded pickaxes in Fortnite are probably some of the biggest ones we have ever seen. I mean, there are some huge pickaxes like the Kai Scythe that almost take up the entire screen. So it is really refreshing to see one of the smallest pickaxes being part of a collab, and that is definitely one of the coolest collabs as well. I really like the Invincible collab. My one downside to this was that the skins and pickaxes didn't really correlate with each other, but still, I feel like it is worth including War Woman's Mace in this video, and it is a pickaxe you guys need to buy today. If you are going to be buying any of these, make sure to use code KyroYT. But let's move on, guys, to our next pickaxe, and we have Air Nomad Staff. This is another one of those cell shaded pickaxes. I feel like this also hasn't really been that popular in Fortnite in the past. We don't really see too many people using cell shaded pickaxes, especially if they are a little bit bigger than, for example, War Woman's Mace. But the Air Nomad Staff is one of the coolest ones that we have seen, and one of the more simplistic ones in the game as well. This is pretty much one color, so it's going to fit in with every single skin in your locker, regardless of if you are using something like the superhero skins or even Budge. I still feel like it is going to work in with it really, really well, and he's a pickaxe that more people need to try. We're on a little bit of a roll here with collab pickaxes, though, so let's move on to the Necro Swords. This is, again, one of the collab pickaxes that has been added to the game over the last few seasons. This is actually added with the Loki collab and came to the game with the Hella skin. I don't think this skin has been popular at all. I've seen almost no one using this skin, but this pickaxe has definitely been one of the more popular ones, and I feel like from the Marvel franchise, there aren't too many standout pickaxes, but this is definitely one of them. It has a really cool design. It is also a dual-handed pickaxe, so it does have that default swinging animation that a lot of people love from pickaxes, and the Necro Swords also is quite simplistic and detailed at the same time. If you do want a pickaxe with a little bit more detail, though, I feel like the Joker's Revenge might be the best option. This is actually part of the Last Laugh bundle, so it is definitely one of the more expensive pickaxes we have on this list, coming in at over $40. Yes, guys, you had to pay around $40 in order to get this, but I am a huge fan of it. I think it looks so sick, and the Last Laugh bundle is just one of my favorite bundles we have ever received. We actually got three different pickaxes in this bundle, but the Joker's Revenge has been one of the more popular ones, and arguably the most try-hard one as well. Because this does sort of have a purple and gold color theme, we don't really see that many people using it just because there aren't really too many skins that it is going to work in well with, especially in the more competitive game modes. But if you don't really care about that too much, or you do want to use a really simplistic skin with a detailed pickaxe, then this is easily the one that I would be using. We may as well include another collab pickaxe, guys, and this is the Scratcher. Yes, the Scratcher is one of my all-time favorite pickaxes. It also is one of the newest ones as well because it was added at the start of Chapter 5, and this was the pickaxe designed for Peter Griffin. Now, obviously, that means this probably isn't going to be as tryhard as some other pickaxes that we have in the game, just because it came to the game with Peter Griffin, but I'm still a big fan of this. I feel like the design of it was really unique and really different to most other pickaxes we had seen before, especially from collabs, and I feel like it was just so unique to a point where no one really ever expected this to come to the game. I mean, Peter Griffin had been rumored for such a long time, and it just never seemed like something that Fortnite would introduce to the game, but now that Peter Griffin has been added, it is one of the coolest collabs they have done. I really like the design of this pickaxe, though. I feel like it fits in with the Family Guy theme really well. It obviously is a tricky collab to make a pickaxe for, because I feel like there weren't too many options for what they could do for a pickaxe, but I feel like they really did nail it with the scratcher, and it does look really clean. Unfortunately, it'll never be available again, but you will actually be able to buy the Lucky Pickaxe in the future. This is a regular Fortnite pickaxe, so it isn't a collab 
pickaxe because I feel like we've already mentioned a bunch of them, but this is just one of the cheapest ones in the game as well, coming in at only 500 V-Bucks. It is so cheap for a pickaxe, and what is really cool about this is that it looks very similar to the Chapter 1 default pickaxe as well. A lot of people really like that because it is so simplistic. It again just means that it's going to work in with all of your favorite skins, so you don't really have to worry about matching it up too perfectly, and that can sometimes be the hardest part about choosing a pickaxe. Let's move on, guys, to Hamiko Toga's Blade. This actually came to the game with the latest anime collab only a few weeks ago. It is one of the most slept on pickaxes that we have seen as well, just because we have had so many anime collabs in Fortnite already that not too many people really check when there are new anime collabs being added to the store. And I feel like if they are going to check them, then skins are probably what they're going to look at the most. Pickaxes might be the part that gets overlooked. I really like this pickaxe though. The design is really simplistic. It is going to fit in with a lot of different skins and it does have the cell shading to it as well. It also is really small, so a lot of pros and streamers are going to use this because it takes up less of the screen. So if you are a competitive player, that might be something to think about. I feel like a lot of pros are actually starting to use some of the bigger meme pickaxes that we have seen though, and the perfect example of that is the Splinter's Staff. This actually came to the game with the Ninja Turtles collab that we had during Chapter 5. This is one of the more random collabs that we had in Fortnite. I don't think too many people expected this to actually come to the game, but now that the Ninja Ninja Turtle collab has sort of come and gone. It is one of the cooler collabs that we have seen. I feel like Splinter's Staff is just one of those pickaxes that wasn't really too popular when it first got added, but now that it has been in the game for a while, it is really picking up popularity and will end up being one of the more popular pickaxes that we see being added, especially during the early seasons of Chapter 5. Obviously, since that collab has now finished though, I don't think you will be able to buy this again in the future, but you never really know. This just has such a clean design. Again, it is a big mix pickaxe so it probably won't fit in with every single playstyle. but if you are a player that doesn't really take the game too seriously then you might absolutely love this pickaxe we need to move forward though, guys to one of the newest pickaxes in the game and this is the clamp hammer yes guys the clamp hammer has finally been added to fortnite this is sort of like the starter pack bundle in chapter 5 season 3 it is one of the more unique starter pack bundles that we have seen as well not too many people have actually been using this over the last few weeks because it is so brand new and I feel like it is a little bit of a unique design that not too many people have really started using just yet. I feel like as the season progresses, a lot more people will end up starting to use this. It is a really cool design. It is a lot different to what we've seen before as well, just with the color variants for this. So it might actually be a little difficult to find a skin that is going to work in well with this. But again, I still think it is definitely worth buying if you don't already have it. If you are looking for a pickaxe that has been in the game for a while though, that is already successful, then the Stellar Striker is going to be a really good option. We've seen a lot of pros and streamers actually using this. It has been one of the more popular pickaxes since chapter four as well, and it is very similar to the Star Wand, which might be the reason why this is so popular. We do actually have two different edit styles for this as well. We have the original style, which is like a sun or a summer variant, and then we have a winter or an ice variant as well, which does look really clean. Not many people have been using it in season three though, so let's move on to our next pickaxe, guys, and this is the bad joke. This is a second big axe that was added to the game in the last laugh bundle. We obviously already talked about the Joker's Revenge, which has been one of the more popular ones, but I feel like the bad joke is just one of the more interesting big axes that we have in the game, and we had to talk about it in this video. What I love about the bad joke is that it is so different to every other big axe we have in Fortnite. I mean, not only is this a big meme big axe, but it can also be quite tryhard as well. The design of this is just so unique. I feel like that is what really sets it apart, but again, it is sort of stuck behind an expensive barrier at $40. Not everyone is going to be able to buy this just because of how expensive it actually is, but I am still a huge fan of this. I love the way it looks, and I feel like it is one of the best pickaxes Fortnite has ever added. I would love to see more people using this, so if this bundle does ever get added back to the store, then I highly recommend picking it up, but we need to move on, guys, to our next pickaxe, and this is the Fibro Axe. This is actually another collab pickaxe that we have in Fortnite. This is actually part of the Star Wars collab though, which is one of my personal favorites. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so it's always really cool to see some of these Star Wars items actually gaining some popularity. A lot of these Star Wars pickaxes that we do have are probably the most underrated and underused collab pickaxes in Fortnite. I mean, I don't really remember the last time I saw anyone using these Star Wars pickaxes in the game, but the Vibro Axe has been one of the more popular ones, and that is what I love about it. The design is so clean. It's going to work in with so many different skins as well, which is my favorite part about it. And the design is 
isn't really showing off that this is part of the Star Wars franchise. It actually looks really simplistic and could just be a regular Fortnite pickaxe. The same could actually be said though for Sylvie Sword as well. Sylvie Sword doesn't really show everyone else that this is part of a collab. It sort of has a really simplistic design. So if you are a massive Marvel fan and love the Loki TV show, then you are probably going to love this pickaxe even more. But if you are like me and haven't really watched that Marvel show just yet, and just from a Fortnite cosmetic point of view, you're probably going to like the way this looks. I feel like that just adds to how cool this actually is. But let's move on guys to the number 30 position. And this is the Determination Daggers. These are a little bit different. These came to the game with the FNCS Championship Siren skin that we had during chapter five, season two, which was one of the most hyped and wanted FNCS skins and pickaxes that we have ever seen. Obviously, Siren is one of the most well-known Fortnite skins. So whenever Fortnite remakes a skin, it is always going to be popular. And I feel like they chose some of the best pickaxes for this. These are dual-handed pickaxes though. So they are different to the original Fortnite design of just a bigger pickaxe. But I kind of like these. I feel like they're going to fit in with a bunch of different skins. And they are some of the more simplistic ones that we have as well. The story is really cool behind them, obviously, because they are the FNCS pickaxes as well. But that also means that these might never return to the game. One pickaxe that definitely will, though, is the Vault Guardian. And this has a price tag of only 500 V-Bucks. I've always been a big fan of the Vault Guardian. You could actually unlock this pickaxe for free by completing some challenges. But what I think is so unique about this is that this is pretty much a remake of the Gold Crow and the Crowbar mashed together. The Crowbar was given out during Chapter 5. The Gold Crow came to the game in Chapter 2. And even though the Vault Guardian was a little bit later on in Chapter 4, this is still really clean and a lot different to what people expected. This has probably been the most popular one since Chapter 5 started though. But again, I don't think it is as tryhard or as popular as some of the other pickaxes we are going to be talking about very, very soon. Before we get started on them though, let's move on to another really underrated pickaxe. And this is the Renegade Roller. This is an art style pickaxe. This is actually an art roller or a paint roller that just looks so, so clean. I don't think I've ever mentioned this pickaxe in a video before, but I was just looking through my locker trying to pick out pickaxes for this video. And I feel like this looked really cool and thought it would be worth mentioning. I don't really think too many tryhard people are going to be using this though, because it is a little bit more detailed than what you want from a tryhard pickaxe, but the design is still so sick that we just had to include it. A lot more people will end up using something like the stun rod though, just because I feel like this is a lot more of a tryhard pickaxe. This came to the game back during chapter two, which was sort of known as the collab chapter in Fortnite. We started getting a bunch of collabs pretty much after the Marvel season in Fortnite, which was like chapter two, season five, all the way up until chapter two, season eight. The stun rod was added during that time period. It is one of the coolest pickaxes that we have, but because we just had so many other pickaxes added from collabs at that time as well, I feel like it is quite slept on in Fortnite today and doesn't really get added back to the store that often. So if you have been waiting a while for this, you might never be able to get it again. Ray's quarter staff was also added to the game during chapter two, and this has been one of the more successful Star Wars pickaxes we have seen. We talked about the Vibro Axe earlier. I feel like Ray's quarter staff has been a lot more popular with a bunch of people using it, and it is very similar to the Vibro Axe. It is pretty much one color. There is no real detail to it until you really zoom in on this, and you can see all the little fine details on this pickaxe. Because it is basically one color though, it is going to work with every single skin in your locker, regardless of if you are using a tryout skin or a meme skin. And we have even started to see some pros picking this up and using it in tournaments, which is only going to increase the popularity of this. I don't think it'll ever be as good as something like Wix Katana though, because this is just so iconic. And now definitely one of my favorite pickaxes that we have. This obviously came to the game with the John Wick skin, but that was introduced back during chapter one. And this pickaxe really only came to the game a few weeks ago. This is actually the second pickaxe design for John Wick. We had the Sledgehammer added back during Chapter 1, but I feel like Wick's Katana is definitely an improvement. I think this is really cool. It is also good that Fortnite added this to the game for only 500 V-Bucks and didn't reintroduce a brand new John Wick skin. They sort of just introduced a new pickaxe for this, which is so, so good. We have definitely seen some pickaxes in Fortnite being added that are very expensive, and I feel like Lobo's bow was probably overpriced. If Fortnite had their time again, they might have actually introduced for only 500 V-Bucks, but it is still one of the best pickaxes that we have, especially from the Marvel franchise. As I've mentioned earlier, these never really gained that much popularity, but Lobo's bow has been one of the more popular ones. We've seen a bunch of pros and streamers using this in tournaments as well, but I feel like it has dropped off a lot to the point where no one is really using this today. We do have a bunch of different Marvel items now in the game as
as well. And with a Marvel season coming during Chapter 5, Season 4, I feel like this is only going to decrease in popularity, and we might not see that many people using it. The Love Lawn is going to be a much more popular choice because this is one of my personal favorite pickaxes, and it reminds a lot of people of the Axe of Champions 2.0, which is the pickaxe that you get for winning an FNCS tournament. You literally have to be one of the best players in the world to actually get it. I do like this pickaxe a lot though. I think it is so, so sick and definitely one of my all-time favorites. It did set you back around $4 though, and it doesn't feature in the store that often. So if you guys don't already have it, you might actually have to wait a while in order to get it. I would love to see more color variants added for this though. I feel like a gold or even a red edit style for the Love Lawn would be really sick. So Fortnite, if you are watching this, please make that happen. We need to move on though, guys, and talk about the Slasher. This actually came to the game during Chapter 4 or Season OG, and was the pickaxe designed for Michael Myers? I mean, Michael Myers is just such an iconic character. It is one of the coolest characters from the Halloween franchise that they have ever added, and in my opinion, I think they absolutely nailed this collab. Again, I never really thought Fortnite would collaborate with the Halloween franchise. Obviously, we do get a bunch of Fortnite Mares collabs, which are always really cool, but this was one of the more surprising ones. I feel like the Slasher is a really good pickaxe that we have seen. A lot of people have ended up using this as well in the more competitive game modes, and I feel like that is because this is so simplistic, and you can also pick this up for only 500 V-Bucks. There is no doubt, though, that the Driver has been a more popular pickaxe, and this is also coming in at only 500 V-Bucks. So many people love this a lot. It has been in the game since Chapter 1, Season 5, so for it to still be popular today just shows you guys how good this actually is. We don't see too many other pickaxes being added to the game similar to this. I mean, we do have the Dauntless Driver, but nothing is ever going to come close to the original Driver pickaxe. Let's move on, though, guys, to a Battle Pass pickaxe, and this is the Hydraulic Slammer. This is one of the best pickaxes we have seen this season in Chapter 5, Season 3. It does mean that it has a price tag of 950 V-Bucks, but considering all of the other items you get this season, I feel like it is definitely worth it. A lot of pros and streamers have also been using this since the season started, but I feel like that is just because it is part of a Battle Pass, so we're going to have to wait and see as the season progresses, and eventually as we do move into Chapter 5, Season 4, whether this stays popular or not. One big axe that definitely will stay popular, though, has to be the Scully Scepter. I mean, there is no doubt in my mind that this is one of the best pickaxes we are ever going to see. It is basically a remake of the style one, so I feel like the only downside to this was that they didn't actually include this as edit styles for the original star wand pickaxe. They decided to add this as a completely different pickaxe, and that is probably the only downside to this, though. A lot of people do prefer this over the star one, though, because we have had the star wand in the game for such a long time, so it is always really refreshing to get some brand new styles, and I do like the way this looks, where it is sort of a skull and bone variant. It definitely has that theme of an OG pickaxe, though, so let's move on to a pickaxe that has been in the game for a really long time, and this is the Reaper. This is arguably the most iconic pickaxe we are ever going to see in Fortnite. I mean, it is hard to not include it in a video like this. It has been in the game since Chapter 1, Season 1. At one point, this was considered the most tried pickaxe in the game as well because of how unique it actually was and the design that this pickaxe had. Fortnite also messed up with this pickaxe because they could have made it one of the rarest pickaxes we have ever seen by keeping it rare and exclusive, or at least adding an edit style for all of the people that bought it during Chapter 1 season one, similar to how they did with the Ghoul Trooper and the Skull Trooper. Still, though, I really like this pickaxe a lot. It probably isn't used that often in Fortnite today because it is quite big and loud, but I still really like it a lot. But if you want the complete opposite of this pickaxe, then you need to try out the Studded Axe. What I mean by the complete opposite is that instead of this being one of the loudest pickaxes of all time, the Studded Axe is known as the quietest pickaxe in the history of the game. It makes almost no sound, Hardly anyone is actually using the Reaper because of how loud it is, so the Studded Axe is obviously one of the more popular ones that we have in the game, especially in competitive game modes, because you want to stay as silent as possible to avoid your enemies knowing where you are. If you use a pickaxe that is really silent, then that is only going to help you, and I feel like that is why the Studded Axe has been really popular in the past. I would love to get some more edit styles for this, but one pickaxe that I do prefer just a little bit more would have to be Catwoman's Grappling Claw. Now, obviously, Obviously, if you are a tryhard player, you probably want to use the Studded Axe, but I just think from a design point of view, Catwoman's Grappling Claw is really cool, and one of the pickaxes that isn't really talked about too much in the Fortnite community. It has a really cool design. It was introduced back during Chapter 2, so 
it is actually one of the oldest pickaxes in this video, but still one of my all-time favorites. It is going to fit in with every single skin in your locker as well, but it might be a little bit big and bulky, so I feel like a lot of people will probably prefer to use the Diamond Jack instead. This is almost a remake of the Studded Axe. It looks very, very similar to it, and that includes the color style for this as well. But this is added to the game with the Travis Scott skin, and it is therefore one of the rarest pickaxes that we actually have. I mean, Travis Scott is only featured in the store once, and that was back during Chapter 2 Season 2, so this pickaxe was introduced at the same time and hasn't been seen since. That is so insane how rare this actually is. I would love for more people to be able to actually buy it. I know that I would be buying it if it actually got added today because of how cool it was. For some reason, I decided to buy this skin and not the pickaxe, but I would still really love to own this in Fortnite, so hopefully it does get added back soon. Since we're talking about rare pickaxes, we may as well move on to the Merry Mint. This is just as rare, but this was actually never featured in the item shop. You actually had to go out to a store in order to buy this pickaxe. It did set you back anywhere from $5 all the way up to $20 in order to get a code for it, which is a little overpriced considering it is basically a remake of a pickaxe that has already been in the game. I think this is really cool though. I would have loved for this to be added as an edit style of our next pickaxe, and that is the Candy Axe. Yes, guys, the Merry Mint is pretty much a copy of this. This is added even earlier in Fortnite during Chapter 1, Season 1, and you could pick this up for 1,500 V-Bucks. It was one of the first ever pickaxes to have a reactive glow or an animation style to it, which I think is really cool. The fact that this glows brighter with the more eliminations you get is just such a cool touch, and I cannot get over how excited I was to actually buy this. It is so expensive, though, being one of the only pickaxes in Fortnite that costs 1,500 V-Bucks, which is just insane to think about. A lot of people have ended up using something like the Cold Snap instead, because it does fit in with that Winterfest theme at a much cheaper price. This also became really popular when it was part of Clix's Locker Bundle. Obviously, he is one of the most influential Fortnite pros and streamers in the world today, so whenever he starts using an item, it is most likely going to become popular and try hard, and that is exactly what happened with the Cold Snap. I'm still a big fan of this though, I just feel like there are some pickaxes in Fortnite that are a little bit better, and the Gold Crow would have to be one of them. This again is very similar to a pickaxe we've already talked about, which was the Vault Guardian. I just prefer the Gold Crow a little bit more, I feel like it has been a lot more popular in the Fortnite community since then, and does seem to feature in the store more often as well with the Shadow Pickaxe Bundle. I feel like a lot of pros and streamers do prefer this over the Vault Guardian, but make sure to let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. There is actually a pickaxe that has been added to the game more recently that has overtaken both of these though, and that is Yoda's Cane. Now, I am a little surprised to see a Star Wars pickaxe finishing this high up in this video, but I feel like because it is Yoda's pickaxe, it is just so much cooler. This is by far the best Star Wars pickaxe that we have in the game. Hopefully, it stays that way as well because I think it is so unique, but it is one of the smallest pickaxes. It is really simplistic and only has one color to it, which just means you can use it with pretty much every single skin in the game regardless of if it is try hard or not. It is one of the newest pickaxes though, and since it is part of the Star Wars franchise, it probably won't feature in the store that often, but the Icebreaker definitely will. This seems to feature in the store like every two weeks. It is kind of crazy how popular this actually is and how popular it is considering this was added back during chapter one, season one. I mean, it is such an old pickaxe, but still so iconic. And I guarantee you any pro or try hard in the world probably owns this pickaxe. One pickaxe that a lot of people would have been buying over the last few seasons, though, would have to be Widow's Bite. Now, this is added back during Chapter 1, Season 8. It is actually a really old pickaxe, but it never featured in the store again up until a few weeks ago, which is when I and a lot of other people ended up buying it. I mean, this was a complete shock. We had seen the original Black Widow returning over the last few months, but Widow's Bite seemed to stay one of those rare pickaxes that actually never made a return to the store. But when it did, a lot of people bought it, and now it is one of the best in the game. It would have to be the best Marvel pickaxe and the most tryhard one as well, but I still feel like the Star Wand is a lot better. They do cost the exact same as well, coming in at 800 V-Bucks, but the Star Wand has been so iconic. It was added in the same season, which is actually really funny as well, but this features in the store like once a week, so if you don't already have this, chances are it is in the store right 
Now, so many people love this. It has been by far the most used tryhard pickaxe in the history of Fortnite, and it is hard to find a pro that isn't using this in Fortnite today. One pickaxe that I feel like is a little bit cooler though, and one of my personal favorites, is the TVA Time Stick. Now, we talked about Widow's by being the best Marvel pickaxe, but I actually like the design of the TVA Time Stick a little bit more, but I don't think it is as tryhard as Widow's Bite. This is really cool. It has a unique style, and again, similar to Sylvie Swords, if you guys aren't a massive fan of the Marvel franchise and don't watch all of the TV shows that get added, then you probably don't even realize this is part of the Marvel franchise. The design is just so sick though, it reminds me a little bit of the hot dogger, which I also really like, but I just feel like this is a pickaxe that we had to mention in this video. Let's move on though to the best battle pass pickaxe from this season, and this is the Assaultron Blade. This is a really underrated pickaxe in Fortnite. It is actually the pickaxe designed for the T60 power armor, which is obviously part of the Fallout collab, which is not a tryhard skin at all. So maybe that is why this pickaxe is quite underrated today, but I do think this is really well designed and an underrated pickaxe in Fortnite. We need to include the Axe of Champions in this video though. I mean, it is the pickaxe given out to the FNCS winners, so it would be hard not to include it in a video talking about the best pickaxes. There are only 30 people in the world at a time that own this pickaxe, which is so insane. I mean, I think it is just a massive flex to have this in your locker, and I know if I was good enough to own this, I would be using it every single day. It just looks so, so sick. I wish Fortnite added in an item shop variant for this so that we all could get something similar but still have this pickaxe keep its tryhard status and just be as rare as it actually is. Let's move on the guys to our next pickaxe and this is the Harley Hitter. Now this is definitely more underrated because it isn't given out to the FNCS winners and is just a regular collab pickaxe but I actually really like the design of this and feel like it is one of the more underrated pickaxes in this video. It is still really popular, I just feel like it deserves to be even more popular than it actually is. I hope you guys love this as much as I do. It is arguably the best collab pickaxe we have ever seen as well, but I just feel like they could have added in a secondary edit style that obviously would have been with the Rebirth Harley Quinn skin, which would have made it a lot cooler. Let's move on the guys to our next pickaxe and this is the stop sign. The stop sign is one of the newest pickaxes in the game added with the lethal company collab and the employee skin. And I feel like the hype of this pickaxe alone is allowing it to finish in the number two position. I love this so much. I think this is such a creative pickaxe. It is so well done as well. I just feel like it is hard to find a pickaxe better designed than this. And it is just such a flex to actually own it. I have been loving this a lot. A lot of pros and streamers have been using this as well. So hopefully you guys do end up using this if you don't already have it. But this isn't good enough to be the best pickaxe in Fortnite today because that has to be the Leviathan Axe. I mean, it is hard to find a pickaxe more iconic than this. It is the pickaxe designed for the Kratos skin that came to the game in Chapter 2 Season 5 with the God of War collab. So many people want this pickaxe. It is only featured in the store once. It could reappear in the future though, which I'm so excited for. And I just feel like we need to see this being added back because it would be without a doubt the most popular pickaxe in the history of Fortnite. But there you guys go. That is my video for the 50 best pickaxes in Fortnite. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure to let me know which one is your favorite and I'll see you guys next time.